Hello guys and welcome back to this video uh, where we're going to talk about dimensionality reduction. So um, in many cases we face data with huge feature vector uh, such as our bag of words model or our TFIDF vector when we have a feature vector of about at least 1500 feature and um, that's because we some sometime put a limit to our uh, the number, maximum number of features of count vectorizer so it might be, get, it might get much more bigger uh, in some cases it will be going into a uh, half million feature or more so in these cases uh, in, and many other uh, this problem of having huge feature vector is called the curse of dimensionality so we need to deal with such huge features for example if we would like to plot the data set to get a better understanding of it you can only plot 1d 2d matrices or um, or 3d matrices but you're going to project it into some 2d metrics in in, in, in in after all to be able to see it for example like like this one um, so this is basically one or two D matrix, and this is like a three D matrix. You can plot them using uh, Matplotlib, basically. But we cannot plot more than this. So in this case, we need to reduce the data dimensions that we have um, to or in order to be able to visualize it. And moreover, if we could reduce the number of features into a smaller version, but still represent the data and capture the essence of it, our model would then train much more faster, of course. So in summary, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about principal component analysis and singular value decomposition. So first of all, let's talk about BCA or principal component analysis. Basically, the BCA is one of the most famous dimensionality reduction algorithm. It observes the variance of the data and tries to reduce the number of dimensions by projecting the data to the, the new axes that preserve the maximum variance. For example, in this data set, what BCA would do for example, these data sets in the scatter plots here, the BCA would try to figure out these two dimensions, which basically uh, have the most variance in the data set. For example, this one has the most variance because most of the data can be seen to be uh, around this vector, which basically observes the variance, and this one, which is the perpendicular one, and observe the rest of the variance. So what BCA tries to do is to find these two uh, vectors which basically maximize the variance of the data and can somehow uh, represent most of the data set that we have. Of course after having two these two axes each point is then projected in a perpendicular line into this vector and the new data set is represented with the new vectors that we have. So let's see now some code where we can understand BCA a little bit better. We are going to load the iris data from sklearn, which is basically have uh, four features and 150 observation. We are going to try to plot these features. Of course, we cannot plot four dimensions. We need to reduce it into three or two dimensions uh, to be able to draw it or plot it. And uh, here we are going to try to draw or plot three dimensions of them. You can see here, and it, they are they come in three different colors because we have three different classes. What we will be trying to do is to reduce this dimensions into only two dimensions using BCA. So now let's use BCA to reduce these dimensions of data. First, we will be importing BCA class from the decomposition module in Cyclothorn. We're going to initialize the BCA object and choose how many components do you like uh, to reduce your data to. In our case, it will be two. And then we're going to train BCA object on the data and then transform it to be redu uh, reduced version. And then we're going to use trained. Uh, we're going to use the trained object to observe the variance of the data uh, that we have captured. So first of all, let's import the BCA and then we're going to. Uh, state that we only need two components from this PCA and this random state to make sure that when you run the code you have the same results as uh, my notebook. So we're going to fit the, the training set which is X so PCA.fit to train the X matrix and uh, notice here uh, how algorithm uh, BCA accepts only X. There is no Y here because BCA is an unsupervised algorithm, so it doesn't accept um, a, a Y matrix because it only needs a X because there is no objective for the BCA. The objective is defined within it, which is basically to find the maximum variance. So uh, to be able to f find the the variance of or how much of the data we are able to cover using this BCA, um, we use the trained BCA to and call the function sorry called the object explained variance ratio 
and uh, basically the expand variance ratio when you have two components it will give you how much each component have a variance of so to be able to observe the total variance of our model we're going to call mbm.sum so basically we're going to sum all of the explained variance ratio and you can see that our PCA has covered 97% of our data which is a lot so now let's transform the X matrix. Let's produce X PCA, which is basically the transform version of X. And then we're going to scatter them and draw them into a BLT. You can see here that it's still observing the uh, the, the three classes and we're still able to uh, differentiate between the three classes, but only now we have them in two dimensions. So uh, of course PCA have done a, a great job here and uh, you can see it in the plot it, that you have. So we can also specific. Uh, we can also define a specific variance ratio um, that we want to observe with the BCA instead of component number. For example, if we don't know how many components that we have, but we need to observe, for example, ninety percent of the uh, the data set, we can do this by uh, passing a this uh, not a decimal number, but a fraction here to m components. So here we we stated that we want to cover ninety percent of the data, and then we're going to fit and transform the uh, the BCA. A comp uh, object that we have and we're going to transform X into XPCA9. You can see here that the explained variance ratio is 92% uh, and you can see that the explained variance ratio here as an array have only one member meaning that we only have one component here. So the BCA was able to observe 90% of the data using only one single component. Let's see how we can see let's plot these data to be able to see them. This is the one dimensions that we have and you can see that um, there is some overlapping here but still as an overall the PCA is able to uh, differentiate the data set that we have. So let's see how BCA works. Basically the way BCA works is by using uh, the SVD which is the singular value decomposition so BCA try to reduce the dimension of the data using this technique which is basically a standard matrix factorization technique uh, that decompose any matrix X into a multiplication of three matrices where the last one contain the unit vectors that define the principal component that we are looking for so uh, the last matrix that we're going to talk at, take a look at the transpose version of it is C1 which is the first component and second component and so on so that's why uh, that is the the way BCA works is by basically uh, using the singular value decomposition which is uh, basically uh, a technique that is belong to linear algebra and you can be use it using numpy so let's see how it works by calling mb.linearalgebra.svd we are going to pass a matrix but the svd the way svd works uh, is, is that we need our data to be centered around zero so we are going to uh, subtract the mean of the, the x data so we will be having all our data rounded on zero by subtracting it from the mean and then we're going to take a look at VH transpose which is basically you can see here these are the components that we have these this is C1 this is component the second component and the third component and here we have the fourth component and um, this is basically because we have four dimensions of the data so we have four components here um, so to be able to project our data into these components we need to make a dot product we basically uh, product the X matrix which is the, the original matrix of the features we're going to make a dot product with the VH which is basically the components that we have here and we only going to be using the first two dimension which is basically the first two columns and then we are going to have the, the new projected values which is a shape of 150 by 2 so basically we have two dimensions now or two component houses and we can uh, draw them here and you can see still that we observe some somehow the difference between the classes um, so basically that's how a PCA work by using this technique called singular value decomposition where it belongs to linear algebra so in conclusion you can use the dimensionality reduction technique to reduce the number of dimensions of the input matrix so that we can plot the data in 2D or 3D space um, and also note that we would simplify the task for the model to train on so that is using PCA and single value decomposition of course there are some other techniques for dimensionality reduction but they are they are not in the scope of our course so uh, that's it for this video guys thank you so much thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the video do give us a thumbs up and share it also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below